Hello, welcome to Creative Makings with me, Claire Newcomb. Today being Friday, it's my turn to blog for Creative Expressions. I have um, some supplies here already. I'm not quite sure how the card's going to pan out. I've done a little bit of prep, but we'll just um, take it as it comes and, and see what we end up with. I shall be using the Just Right Clear Stamps, the Doodle Roses. I've already created some of the layers for the cards. I've used the, used the Just Right Stitched A2 Banners and Rectangles set of dies. So I've created two layers using the Milk White Foundation card. I sat and stamped onto white card again using white embossing powder, the set of three scribbled roses there and I coloured them in various colours using uh, Colour Cloud blending ink. So I used the Soft Cerise ink, I used another new colour to me, um, the Lemon Meringue, it's a lovely lemony shade and actually comes out quite pale but obviously with these colours you can build on them and I also created some of the blue flowers with ocean blue the, ink, the leaves I inked up with a basil leaf and to apply the ink on all of them I used the, the usual uh, scoochy sponges I've created a card blank from craft card and I've put the, the layers on top there what I've actually done, I cut out with the die the main image there which gives us the stitched border but I wanted to create a bit more dimension um, because the background is going to be quite plain I didn't want to overpower the flowers that I'm putting on so I've created another layer to go on top of that banner and the way I've done that was just by putting the banner on a piece of card stock and drawing around the inside and then I use scissors just to cut that out directly instead of the die cutter machine and I've also done with the same with the back layer there right now I want this to be the back layer so I'm going to attach that directly down to the card I'm not going to stick this one down yet because I think what I might do eventually is wrap some twine around. So I'm going to work and think about my layers on this banner here. I think with the flowers I will want to layer them up in this sort of fashion. And then I will yeah I'll tie some ribbon and I some twine and I shall make the bow go there I think so let me do that now just to fix on the reverse of this layer and this will just catch the, the twine and keep that in place making that easier for me to work with I think I will secure that one down now I can stamp on this area and I'm going to use this larger stamp I shall heat emboss this with um, white powder again as I did with the little flowers I like to use the Ranger Perfect Medium Tacky Ink. Makes it it's just nice and easy to work with. Gently pull that away. <coughs> we'll add white embossing powder. Now to heat emboss this with a heat tool. What I like to do, um, just allow the tool to heat up a little bit before you actually 
set the powder. This way you're putting the paper under less stress or the card under the least amount of stress under the heat heat tool and the powder turns a lot quicker. So with white powder you can see that the surface turns shiny. Possibly can't pick this up on camera. The powder melts into the background to give the image. Okay, so we've heat set that image now. Just let that cool down for a bit because I want to colour this in the same way that I coloured the little flowers. Um, there we are. only takes uh, 10 or 15 seconds or so for that powder to cool down. Okay, I'm going to go with the same colours as I used on these flowers here. So I shall go with the soft cerise and the lemon meringue. And just take the sponge and I'm just going to dab that over the top. Now I'm not going in for a the neat coloured in look. I think what I'll do, I'll take a little paintbrush and just take some of the ink from the colour cloud and just add some detail to the flowers this way. So that's taking the paintbrush directly to the pad. Just dry, it's a just a dry dry paintbrush, no water on there. And it just picks up enough ink just to colour tint there. Add some detail to them flowers. You can see how versatile these inks actually are to use. You can you can actually stamp with them also. Use the sponge to go direct to an ink you'll stamp with. Um, especially the the bolder the colours, they they stamp really lovely. Um, equally, you can take a dry brush as I'm doing here and just add add detail to your images. Take some of your ink directly onto a sponge, onto your a craft mat or um, a glass working mat. Add some water um, and use the pigment as a watercolour paint. Or you can go direct to paper as I did there to create backing paper um, that coordinates with the images of your card. The colours blend lovely together. So although initially you may only have a few colours that you start off with, you can create new ones. For example, one of the first colours I had was the ocean blue and the basil leaf. Um, blend these together, you get the most lovely turquoise colour. Um, either lean, lean into the blue side or the green side depending on how much of each colour but it, it just shows how versatile they are using the white embossing powder on new images like this gives it a nice fresh fresh look and a nice modern look as well ok I shall go in and use some of the green. I'm going to use the other end of my sponge on this because it's a nice fine nib, fine point so I can just go 
have a little bit more control over the ink that I'm applying. Okay, and I think what I'll do, I'll just take the ink and I can just define those leaves. You can see that by embossing the images to start with, it actually resists resists the colour that you're you're putting down onto the paper. The white, even the white embossing powder, doesn't pick up any of the the ink that you're using on your image, which actually makes colouring in this way much less scary. So if you're new to this style of technique or new to stamping, new to embossing and colouring, it takes a lot of the, the guesswork out of it. It took me a long while before I was confident in my colouring and even using a paintbrush in this way. I'm just going to take, now that the ink's dry, just take a clean piece of towel, paper towel, kitchen towel, and just rub gently over the top of the image. That will just buff and clean up your white embossing powder. Although it doesn't take the colour, it's like polishing anything. Yes just makes it pop out a little bit more. I'll take one of the paler pinks that I have and I'm just gently I'm just going to create just a little pink border. This will just make this layer of the tag just stand out a little more when I layer it on its white counterpart but the pink will just tie it in with the flowers just enough so that when you put that layer on there it just makes that border of the tag just, just stand out a little more there needs to be a sentiment on the card and for that I'm going to use some vellum And it will just be a little wrap around at the base of the card there. So I wanted to get choose which stamp I was, and I need to just tear off a piece of the vellum that I'm using, but I needed to know the size of the, the sentiment that I was using. So all I'm going to do now Tear off the strip of the, the vellum. Now the archival link, the black archival link, um, stamps good onto vellum. It dries pretty quick. Um, there are some inks that you can't use onto vellum. Um, I'm just going to reshape this slightly. I'm just going to tear that around the sentiment. And I'm just going to make it a little little thinner as it goes along this way. Okay, when you're creating these wraparounds with vellum it's a good idea to leave a little tab just past your sentiment so you can wrap that around and secure on the reverse of your paper that you're using. This way you don't need to worry about hiding the, the adhesive on the front of the vellum. So we have that 
in place there. We'll just line that up like so. I'm going to use these flowers that I stamped earlier. Okay, I'm just going to take some more twine and I'm going to wrap <coughs> and tie a bow just around this section here. There we are, we have our finished card using the Doodle Roses Clear Stamps by Just Right, the Colour Blending Colour Cloud Ink by Cosmic Shimmer. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like any more information on this project or any others that I create, please visit my blog www.creativemakings.co.uk.